Oh, uh, good morning! Hey, are you going to classes? Good luck! Thanks! How can she be so pretty all the time? My name is Eito Sakaragi. I'm 20 and a sophomore in college. I come from a single parent household. I used to live happily with my father and my younger sister. However, my father passed away in an accident last week. It hasn't hit me yet since it was so sudden. Daddy, why did you have to leave us? <laughs> Nana, I'm here for you. It's gonna be okay, I promise. But how are we going to live now that Daddy is gone? My little sister Nana is still 13 years old. We don't have a mother. Our parents got a divorce when Nana was six, and our mother left us with our father. We haven't met or seen her once since the divorce. Look at me, I'm right here. Don't worry about it. I've always been here when you needed me, and that's not gonna change, ever. I quit college yesterday. I'll start working, and we'll get through this. I'm so sorry, Eito. I know how hard you studied to get into college. I'll do all the homework from now on, so you can focus on your work. My father was an only child, and our grandparents have passed away. We don't have any relatives either. Nana and I only had each other to rely on. Gosh, I'm 20 with only a high school diploma. Plus, I can't leave my 13-year-old sister at home alone at night. I don't think there are going to be many jobs to pick from. I need to keep the money Dad left for us so I can pay Nana's school fees. I can't waste any of it. I should start working part-time while I find a full-time job. <sighs> Gosh, I'm tired. Maybe I should lie down for a bit. I open the door to find my neighbor standing outside. Her name is Kokonoe-san, and she's been living next to us for many years. We don't talk much, but we say hi in the hallways whenever we bump into each other. Um, I heard that your father passed away last month. Um, yes, in an accident. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I just found out today. I'm sure your father is worried about leaving you two behind. We'll be okay. I'm 20. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, I'm sorry if that offended you. You're looking after your sister on your own, right? I respect you for it, but you look so tired. Are you okay? Uh, I'm just tired because I work from early morning to early evening. I don't want to leave my sister alone because it hasn't been long since my father passed away. I'm trying to find a full-time job, but it hasn't been easy since I can only offer limited time to work. You are such a caring brother. Your sister is in middle school, seventh grade if I remember, right? You know, I work from home. I can watch over your little sister until you come back from work. That way, you'll have more options to pick from, right? I appreciated her offer, but I didn't know her enough to ask for such a favor. I didn't know what to say. Oh, but... How about you bring your sister and we can have dinner together? I promise, I'm not a creep with ulterior motives. Oh, um, I didn't mean it that way. I'll see you at 7. I hope you like my cooking. Hey, Nana, do you remember our neighbor? The woman next door? Yeah, the pretty lady, right? She smells so good every time I pass her on the stairs. I wonder what perfume she uses. She's so cool. She wants us to go over to her place for dinner tonight. What? I would love to. I've always wanted to talk to her. Nana and I rang Miss Kakonoe's doorbell, and she greeted us with a bright smile. My heart was pounding. This was the first time I'd ever been inside a girl's room. Um, this is for you. Oh, you didn't have to. I love fruit, so this is perfect. Thank you. You know, I never got to ask you your name. My name is Hajime. Um, I'm Nana. Nana Sakuragi. And my brother's name is Eito. It was weird introducing ourselves to somebody we've known for so long. The lady's name was Hajime. And she told us she was 25 years old. Nana, can you turn on the hot plate for me? I haven't done yakiniku in such a long time. Living alone is lonelier than you think. Well, we haven't had yakiniku ever since our father passed away. It would be nice if the three of us could get together from time to time to eat together like this. Hajime, did you make the designs on the snack box? I did. This is what I do for work. Nana, you might have seen this one in stores. Everybody has lip gloss. You designed this too? Oh, my friends love this. They think the bottle is cute. <laughs> I'm glad they like it. You know, they gave me all the colors. You can take ones that you like. 
No, for real? Nana. She never asked me to buy anything because she knows we don't have any money to spare. Nana hit it off with Hajime immediately. She seemed to be having more fun than when she was with me. Why did you decide to work from home? Well, I have some medical condition. It started when I was working at my previous company. I was lucky to have a kind boss. He suggested I work from home as a contract employee. So, Nana, you can come over whenever your brother can't come home early from work. Huh? Really? Yes, I would love to get to know you better. We should hang out so neither of us is lonely. Thank you. You know that you're having trouble finding a job because of me. But it was so scary thinking about spending that time alone at home after everything. Nana. Hajibe, you don't know how much this means to me. I'll help you do the housework in return. I was relieved to see that Nana became livelier after connecting with Hajime. Shortly after, a nearby factory hired me as a full-time employee. They pay well, and the working conditions are great. Everyone is so kind and welcoming. I owe you big, Hajime. Great! We should celebrate tonight! Oh, hey! You don't have to do that. If you hadn't noticed, I had fallen in love with Hajime. She is beautiful and successful, and I couldn't help my feelings, even though I knew she was too good for me. We're having tamaki sushi today. Nana, help me cut the sashimi. I haven't had sushi in so long. Even if I couldn't tell her how I felt, it was enough for me to have her near like this. Three months passed after I started working at the factory. Eating dinner together had become part of our daily routine. One of the things I looked forward to was buying Hajime and Nana cake on my payday. I wish there was something more I could do to repay her for her kindness. She'll only accept money for the food. This is too much. You take care of Nana, and I want to pay for some of your utility bills. You don't need to pay me unnecessary money. Friendships like this never last when money becomes an issue, okay? One day, at the beginning of winter... Hey, Ito! Your little sister's on the phone. You better get there fast. Sounds like an emergency. Huh? Nana? Okay, thank you, sir! Ito, help! I think Hajime is unconscious! Okay, calm down. You just need to call an ambulance. Stay with her until you get to the hospital. Is something wrong? You can leave early if you need to. Thanks, boss! I promise to make it up to you! I'm so sorry. I caused you so much trouble. I kept imagining what would happen if you never woke up. Oh, don't cry. I feel awful. Um, the nurse told us. Hajime, you don't have any family? Yeah, you saved my life, Nana. It means so much to have you two with me right now. That day, I went home and thought about it through the night. Maybe we weren't the only ones who needed somebody. Eito, Hajime told me she's coming home tomorrow. It's a Saturday. Can you come with me to pick her up? Of course, I'll be there. Um, will you marry me, Hajime? I know, I'm not wealthy, but I'll do everything in my power to give you the life you deserve. I want to be by your side. Eito, have you forgotten I'm five years older than you? I don't care! You are the kindest, most beautiful woman in the world! You're silly. You're only saying that because you haven't been overseas. You should see the beauties out there. So... Are you saying no? I know I'm not the most attractive guy. I'm short, I didn't go to college, and I work in a factory. But I promise to buy you a cake on my payday every month. You can keep all the money I make. I can live off a 500 yen allowance every day. And I promise to take care of you no matter what. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna say yes. Who can say no to cake? Wait, Hajime, you're gonna marry my brother? <laughs> yep, I'd love nothing more than to become a real family with you. Are you sure? He's so short, plus his feet smell, and sometimes he goes to bed without brushing his teeth. Nana, shut up! Don't worry, I'm designing the packages for toothpaste and shoe deodorizers. The companies usually send me samples. But he's so short, <laughs> it's okay. Meh. <laughs> Two years later, the three of us are still happily living together. I'm home! Who wants some cake? It's heartwarming to see people who care about each other and end up together and happy. Eito got so emotional, he started crying during his proposal. I was touched by it. I hope Eito, Hajime, and Nana get to make many more precious memories as a family. Did you guys like today's story? 
Let me know in the comment section. I hope you come by tomorrow for more. Today's narrator was Shu. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.